Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Sharon and I do all things anti-aging. Now, wearing this awful looking collar because it's actually pyjamas. Um, we are going to do a night time routine. Now you might have seen not another night time routine. I've seen about a thousand, 10,000 of the bloody things. Now, what we are going to do is, is get back to basics. Um, because a lot of us can get lost in all the nighttime stuff that you're using. I'm using this, I'm using that, and I put this with this and I put that with that. No, you don't need that many ingredients for a nighttime regime. The first and foremost thing that you need is a cleansing uh, solution, and that would be. Um, Let's see, something like this. This is my perfect night. It's hard to see. Um, it, it basically cleanses your face. It doesn't strip your face that it's so tight and dry. You want to, when you've washed your face, you want to still feel like your skin can move and you're not going to crack it open. Um, so you want, it doesn't have to be that one, you want a, a face cleanser, be it foaming or not foaming, um, to cleanse your skin and you still feel when you've washed that off that you can actually move your face. It's not tight, dry and stripped away everything from your face. That is a big no-no. After you've cleansed your face, believe it or not, a lot of people uh, don't believe in toners. Oh, toners, can I skip that step? Actually, a toner will brighten the skin as long as you do not use um, toners that are full of alcohols and then you get toners that are all these crazy colours they're like blue and pink and green and all sorts and they smell fabulous they are not a great toner and um, some great toners would be I have, I have a wee few things wrote down here so if you see me giving the the side eye I'm giving the side eye uh, it's just because I'm needing uh, I should have worn my glasses for this, but I didn't bother. Um, so your toner, some of them, um, they, they, they need to be quite pure, uh, like a, 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 a rice water toner. Um, just something that simply hydrates the skin, doesn't strip the skin. So you, you really don't want that. You want something that's going to plump the skin and exfoliate it at the same time. Now there are some good exfoliating toners. Now this one uh, it was a dupe for that Pixi Glow. Now this uh, is an exfoliating toner. It does have uh, a 5% glycolic acid. It has aloe vera um, and ginseng. Now no too bad but I think the rice toner would be better because it's really going to hydrate the skin much better um, than, and tone the skin much better maybe than something that's like they said a crazy colour like that so anyway not saying that it's bad I'm just saying that depending on your skin type you have to pick a toner try it out if it doesn't suit go for something much much more natural now uh, so we've cleansed and we've toned now when and your skin Night's night time skin regime. I had to put my teeth in. Um, we want a treatment. Now, what would your treatment be? Now, our treatment would be hyaluronic acid, a vitamin C, and a retinol. Do not go over the top and thinking, right, I have, I have um, my 100% hyaluronic acid. That's a must. That's a must. Oh, now, some new hyaluronic acids are saying, don't apply it to a damp face. Most anti-aging or just treatments always work better on a dampened face, not on a bone dry face, really. And you don't have to have a, a soaking wet face, just slightly dampened. And everything you put on your face will work better. It will soak in better. It will hold the moisture better. So... Please remember that. So you could be thinking, oh, I'll wear this um, hyaluronic acid. Yes, please do. And um, well, I'll be using um, some collagen. I'll be using this 
um, Revita lift. I'll be using this, I'll be using that. And then before you know it, you have an absolute overload on your face, but one may be counteracting with the other. And you're spending all this money buying great products. You don't know how to use them. You're slapping them all over your face at the night. And um, like I said, they're counteracting each other. So pick three products. Now, if it was me, I would be picking definitely my hyaluronic acid. I would pick a vitamin C and I would definitely pick a retinol. Then, as a moisturiser, I would pick either a really, really good moisturiser or, you know, if you have a, a good moisturiser with a hyaluronic acid, you know, the more moisture you get in the skin, the better. I wouldn't be picking a moisturiser with this, a moisturiser with that. You've already chosen your hyaluronic acid, your vitamin C and your retinol. Now a good moisturiser. That's all you need. Um... To be honest with you, some people overload. I've done it myself, don't get me wrong. I was overloading all these products and one was counteracting the other. So for a night time regime, cleanser, moisturising cleanser, doesn't strip the skin. Um, a toner, again, a toner that doesn't have all these alcohols and all these, again, when you add it to your skin, your skin feels tight and nasty. You want a, a nice toner that doesn't strip the skin. Um, like, you know, like a rice water toner. Something gentle that's going to make your skin feel fabulous and glowy. Uh, and then you would have your treatment, hyaluronic acid, I must. Um, use a vitamin C or whatever other vitamin that you like. Um, but make sure it goes with your, um, well, everything goes with hyaluronic acid, but if you're using a vitamin C, uh, a retinol, now retinol would be the best. Um, be that um, just a retinol that, uh, I have it here, like this, this is the retinol, um, I showed you the other day there, retinol B3 serum concentrate. So you would, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, retinol, good moisturiser and that is you. Just put it on your face and then you know in the night time your skin really really you know it it heals itself and that's when all the work is done and in the morning use all your serums that you want you know like again your hyaluronic acid and um, and all those other um, uh, collagen serums and oh face lifting serums, serums that make the tea for you basically they do everything so um use something very simple at night um let your skin heal don't overload it don't overload your skin see that's a mistake we all make we're overloading our skin and we don't know which works with the other one you know um i will make another video on what goes with what and what you shouldn't use with the other one if you know what i mean but uh, anyway guys that's it from me with my pajamas they're actually yep dumbo <laughs> should i see any more <laughs> anyway guys loads and loves and um, loads and loves loads of loves and kisses and i will see you on the next one and you all take care of yourselves take care Bye.